Okay, everybody, welcome, welcome. I appreciate your time. We've got an hour set up for this presentation, uh, but I don't think I'll need that much time. So I'll do my best to deliver uh, the required and, and valuable content in 30 or 40 minutes and, uh, and maybe give the rest of the day back to you there. So are you using Sage 100 MRP, the work order module, IRP, production management? Have you had questions about those? Are you wondering how production management plus fits into all this? The names seem to be changing. There doesn't seem to be a whole lot of information out there. Uh, work order and MRP are reaching end of life, right? So those of you that are using those products, you know, if you haven't already had a conversation with your reseller uh, or Sage, you need to start having that conversation because you need to determine the pathway forward for your organization. As a leading developer of manufacturing automation solutions for Sage 100, Scanco is uniquely positioned to help you understand your options, right? We're a part of the, the Sage team with your reseller uh, that are here to advise and help you uh, the best we can. In this webinar, we're gonna help you understand the difference between the solutions and the suggested upgrade paths for Sage 100 manufacturing automation. We'll cover differences between MRP, work order, IRP, production management, and production management plus. Naturally, you'll have additional questions. Um, don't worry, like I said, Sage and your reseller and us, we're, we're all here uh, to help. So, some of you may already be experts. Some of you may know Sage in and out, manufacturing modules in and out. Maybe you've been doing this for 10, 20 years. You just wanna see what's new. Uh, but some of you may have just getting, may just getting started. Uh, regardless, everyone's going to be able to take something away from here, um, and the only cost is going to be your time. So how do we do that? Oh, there I am. Uh, so I'm, I'm Philip Hall, and I've been an account manager over here at Scanco for the past three years. Um, I work directly with the reseller channel and the end users, you customers, you guys. Uh, some of you maybe already worked with me or seen me, and uh, I deal with the day-to-day -day pains in manufacturing and distribution, right? That's, that's pretty much my entire life. Uh, so uh, enough about me. Uh, before we get started into uh, the rest of the agenda, we're going to talk about Scanco and, and you know, why, why is Scanco uniquely positioned to advise and help, like I said. Uh, we'll go over the manufacturing modules and make sure everybody understands what the playing field looks like, um, you know, because there's there's been some change and the naming is important. We'll go over the manufacturing enhancements because each of those modules has enhancements. They've had enhancements for decades and the newer modules have new enhancements. And like any other software, we're going to be adding enhancements to them to, to deliver value to the customer base, you know, based on your need. And then we'll talk about what you can do next, right? Because this is just the kind of the first step. Um, one step, 10 steps, that's gonna be up to you. So a little about Scanco. So the, the important things here is we've been in the industry for over 30 years, right? We cut our teeth in distribution and working with customers on the floor. Naturally, distributors are manufacturers, manufacturers are distributors. Sometimes that line gets a little blurry. So, you know, we've, we've evolved into a manufacturing company as well. So in three and a half decades, we've been servicing the Sage channel, right? We're an OEM manufacturer for Sage. We wrote production management. Well, we were contracted by Sage, but we wrote it. They came to us. Uh, we own the job ops uh, software and maintain it on the back end with the support of the Sage reseller channel. So we, we, we've got a longstanding relationship with Sage, uh, and, and we plan on continuing that, continuing that relationship through quality service and, and expert solutions. Basically, we eat, sleep, and breathe manufacturing and distribution. We don't have to worry about a lot of the other things. You know, your reseller's like a general contractor. You know, they've got their jack of all trades and heck, they're masters of a lot of them too. Um, but you know, they have to be really good at knowing everything, uh, all aspects of your business. Me, Scanco, we get to focus on manufacturing and distribution. Uh, so we can really get granular uh, and, and really get in there surgically 
and help. All right, so I said three and a half decades. So I just want to show you this, and I'm, you can you can look through uh, and, and kind of poke out some things. Some of you might see some old software sets that you're familiar with or have heard of, uh, but this is 33 years at a glance. And why I like to show this is you don't just see one or two blips here. Uh, we're, we're constantly improving our software and engaging the channel and 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 you know creating solutions collaboratively with other ISVs or, or or Sage itself to really you know enhance Sage, really get you the most out of Sage. Because really at the end of the day, that's what's all about. You're using Sage; it's a great product. Uh, let's make it better. You know, depending on how you use it, there are times when it can be uh, you know difficult or cumbersome. So they have a lot of solutions to help with that. But you got to, you know, reach out to your reseller. You got to do the research, got to work with us to find out what those options are even uh, if there are any. So let's jump into the Sage manufacturing modules. OK, that's what we talked about first. I want to kind of level the playing field and make sure everybody understands, you know, what we're talking about, the naming, the nomenclatures and kind of the history so we know where we're at. So we're gonna start back in 2016. All right, and I'm sure this goes older and that, that's where I'll start. Uh, when life was simple, we had work order and we had job ops. Now, you know, there was bill of materials and job costs. There's some other stuff out there, but really the primary Sage manufacturing modules were work order and job ops. The name changed as it went along. And as you can see in the, the second box here, Job ops changed to Sage 100C manufacturing, but the work order module stayed around. And then in 2019, production management was released. Now, initially, production management was going to replace work order right out of the gate, uh, but work order is currently still supported, currently still out there. So if you're using it, you can upgrade. Um, but like I said at the beginning, they're going to end of life it soon, so you need to have a plan in place of what you're going to do. Um, I don't have a finite time for how long it will last, but I'd like to have a plan in place before uh, any dates are dropped on me. Um, uh, Sage 100 Manufacturing, old job ops stayed the same, 2019. Then in 2021, 2022, we had some, some additional changes, and I believe this is where the naming changes are going to end, and this is where we are now. So you have production management, you have work order still, and you have operations management. Now, a couple quick notes, production management and work order cannot exist on the same system. One is going to, the production management is going to be installed and it's going to turn all your work ticket history from work order uh, into read only. Um, you know, so definitely work with your reseller to kind of work through that process to make sure that you're not losing data or if you need access to that data above read only, work with them to find out what the solution is. Production management and operations management cannot be uh, cannot work on the same system either. They have different table structures. Now, Sage is rewriting and re-releasing production management 2.0 here soon, so some of that may change. But as it sits right now, it cannot be done. There is a pathway from work order to production management. We uh, or your partner uh, can help identify what that looks like, and there is a pathway from production management or work order to operations management. Again, those are uh, projects that you want to engage your Sage reseller uh, and, and work with them to identify the, uh, the correct sequence of steps. Uh, and they will know when to engage the, the scan code team for the specific portions based on what you own. So you have work order, you have job ops, now you have production management, you still have work order, but it's gonna disappear here soon, and you've got operations management. So within the next year or so, we should go. We should go back to only two products: production management and operations management. Things will be simple again here soon. So you know, we talked about production management and operations management. I know today is more about IRP work or all that stuff, but it's really important to understand the difference between the two, so you're not looking at a software solution that's not going to um, fulfill your your vision or expectations or needs. Um, so your production management, like we talked about, is your upgrade pathway from work order, right? Work order has been around for 20, 30 years, um, and we were contracted to bring it into the new business 
object framework. So you can move the tables around or the grids, the views. You have access to the primary and secondary tables and UDF. So it's a lot more user friendly, like all of your other Sage modules. It was one of the last modules uh, that they updated. Uh, so it, it was it was severely needing it. So those of you who are using it now, you probably know what I'm talking about. A small thing I learned is that on the old work order, you can't even resize the screen, the work ticket entry screen and some of those screens. So that might seem like a silly thing, but in production management, you can make it as big or as small as you want. So you have a lot more options with production management. But it is still a make to stock uh, piece of software out of the gate, right? Hold just a minute, please. I believe uh, we're having a problem and no one can see uh, the screen here. Bear with me for just a moment. Okay, I believe we should be okay now. Um, We'll just go back to this one real quick so you can see the, uh, the the visual here. I'm sorry, my screen share must have kicked back off. I'm glad, thank you for uh, for mentioning that or else we would have done this whole presentation with uh, with nothing out there, not a problem. Let's uh, play from the current slide. Okay, so this is what I just got done talking about, work order, job ops, production management, work order, operations management, okay? So um, when you're referring back to this recording, you'll you'll start here, but you'll hear, a bunch of other uh, stuff. I want you to see me though. So there I am, right? And here's the rest of the slides. So you know who you're talking to, put a face to a name. So if you see me at Summit or you see me in these, uh, these uh, conferences, come over, say hi. I might look like a big, big guy, big mean guy, but I'm, I'm friendly and nice. We like to have a good time. Um, here's that timeline I talked about, uh, you know, so you can see that. I want you to be able to have that if you need to pause it. Uh, and then this is where we were talking about production management and operations management. I do apologize for that technical difficulty. Here we go. So production management is make to stock, just like work order, all right? You're making items for inventory, okay? Uh, those items might have a couple different revisions. Think of it like a, um, you know, like making a, a dining room chair, right? There's lots of different dining room chairs out there, but essentially you're gonna have the base, the legs, the back, so on and so forth. Uh, so you'll be making those chairs to inventory, uh, you might have some different styles of chairs or different fabric and all that stuff, but not a whole lot of real in-depth customization on the chair, all right? You'll see here make to order. Uh, this make to order is with the uh, production management plus only, right? So production management does have the make to order capabilities now, not out of the box. You'll hear about that a little later. So that is one of the uh, advantages of the production management. The newer production management software set is you've got the, the make to order capabilities um, available to you. Now, to differentiate that from operations management, uh, let's think of operations management, if you're manufacturing more of a, let's say a computer, right? Um, a computer may have a million different variations depending on the hardware that they buy, the configuration, the setup. So it's very, very specific and the order it, the costing of it is really dictated by how it's configured and set up. Really, operations management sets up your jobs and your tickets through the sales order module. It's all driven through the sales order module, right? So, you know, please, if you're looking at manufacturing software, engage your partner, have these conversations and make sure that production management, make sure you know whether production management or operations management is the software set that's going to bring you into the future. So. Let's say that you do that, operations management, uh, formerly known as job ops, like we talked about, uh, is off the table and we're looking at production management. So production management is gonna be the right choice uh, when you're making items to inventory, like we talked about standard customizations and revisions uh, to your manufactured goods. If you need to sub, sub explode those sub assemblies uh, into a single work ticket where the parent is being made, uh, you have those capabilities as well. So you know, step-based manufacturing, date-based manufacturing, right? Production management's not going to be for you if you need capacity-based scheduling. If you want to look at work centers and identify, you know, material and labor constraints and time frames, you're going to be need you're going to need to look at a different software set. Um, 
really advanced item configurations like we talked about, like a computer, right? You know, depending on the, the motherboard and the processor, you know, all those different things really come into play with the cost. So if you're dealing with anything like that, you know, production management might, might not be the right choice. If you don't need the ability to track items for warranty or service work, or if you've got, if you don't need, you know, techs out in the field servicing items or, or, or completing jobs or um, with their service agreements. So, you know, consider those things as, uh, as you, you know, progress down your, your discovery of what manufacturing module might be the best, right? Your, your reseller is going to be a fantastic uh, resource. And right, like I said, begin, obviously, I'll have more questions. Well, does it do this, this, or that? Those are all going to come from me or, or the reseller. So there's no way we'd be able to get it all done uh, today. But, um, you know, we, we've got the time for you. So just uh, just reach out. So those are the manufacturing modules out there now. You've got production management. You know, you've got work order, but it's going away. So look at production management. You've got job ops, uh, operations management. And these are the manufacturing enhancements. All right. So. Uh, again, the enhancements have kind of changed and, you know, as the software has changed and there's a little confusion potentially as to what's what, what works with what. So uh, this is a great visual to kind of go over some of those software sets. So MRP, uh, Material Resource Planning, was the planning tool for uh, work order, right? Uh, and work order is still being supported, so MRP is still being supported but MRP does not work for production management. It is linked to work order. The procurement tool for and planning tool for production management is IRP, Inventory Requirements Planning, okay? Uh, so the MRP uh, is going to, to the best of my information, is going to go away with the work order module. Sage might have future plans for it and its functionality, um, but you know, stay tuned to your reseller for that. They'll keep you up to date with everything that's going on there. An IRP for production management. Uh, you can talk to your reseller about seeing this software and what it does and get a full dive into its capabilities. Especially if you're using MRP, you wanna take a look at IRP uh, so you understand the differences. The idea and the concept is, is the same, but the technology is a little different. So make sure you, know, you, you, you go through that. Another enhancement that has been out there for a long time is the scanning, right? This is the automation piece. It's the data collection and data entry back into, uh, you know, your job ops or work order. So if you've got a work ticket floating around out there and you want to issue parts or track labor, uh, you know, and do an import into Sage rather than having a manual entered in, that's the software that you use, right? So job ops and WO scan had their own uh, each individual scanning solution, WO scan and JO scan. But now that production management and operations management uh, have been released, they both have been replaced by our scanning solution called Manufacturing 100. You see it here, MFG 100. Uh, this software set works with both production management and operations management. Uh, there is an upgrade pathway from uh, either WO scan or JO scan, right? So uh, whether you're using either of those and either of the, uh, the manufacturing modules, you're still gonna be able to do your automated scanning. Uh, you know, that, that's definitely a piece that we'll get involved in, but again, you know, that's a part, that's just one part of the project. So, you know, make sure you're engaging your reseller to find out what the best sequence of events are uh, to give you the best possibility for success. And then the last piece you're gonna see down here is WOEP, the work order efficiencies, All right? So these have been around for a long time. Work order had little holes in it. Well, it didn't have holes in it. It's a great product, written very well. But as manufacturers and industry evolved, the needs changed, right? We changed, we need different things. What was once great is now old. So the work order efficiencies were little software sets that uh, were created to kind of fill those gaps. For example, the make to order, Right, so work order on its own is a make to stock like we talked about. But a lot of you guys out there uh, might be like, well, wait a minute, I'm able to create work tickets from the sales order module with, uh, with my work order. Can I do that in production management? Yes, you'll need production management plus from us, but just like the work order efficiencies enhanced work order, you'll see PM plus is going to be what enhances production management. Now. 
there are a lot of uh, work order efficiencies out there. Uh, the only one that has been created for production management this time uh, is for PM Plus is the make to order. And that is an enhancement, an add-on to your production management. So if you're if you're using work order and you're you're making work tickets for for items from the sales order field, you need to be looking at production management plus, right? Uh, we can dig in a little more to, to, to what some of these are uh, to give you some additional information because you know what I found is a lot of people might not even know, you know, if they're using or what. Now that's not a bad thing because some people inherited a system that has all this in there and they might think it's all just standard, right? Uh, there's been a lot of tribal knowledge lost, not only through COVID, but you know, with the economy being the way it is and, and the job market being the way it is, we've got people all over the place. So, you know, it, it's good just to have a, a, a firm understanding of what all these are, the namings, where they've come from, where they're going, so you can make the best decision moving forward. Right, so we talked about MRP for work order. You see that big time here, work order. Evaluate, evaluate your demand, your material demands based on open sales orders and sales projections. All right, there's that projected demand that I hear a lot about. All right, some of you out there are using it, maybe not. Uh, it also takes into account your inventory stock levels and purchase orders. So what's coming in, what's going out, uh, what you have, all right? And it's gonna tell you what you need. IRP is the resource planning for production management. As you'll see, the concept is the same. The one thing that we don't have, uh, that IRP does not have, I'm sorry, not we. The one thing that IRP does not have currently is the uh, projected demand. You'll see here open sales orders, work ticket component requirements, inventory stock levels, and purchase orders. Um, I do believe that projected demand is going to be uh, in one of the newest renditions or releases of IRP through Sage. Again, though, you're gonna need to work with your reseller to kind of understand that timeline and timetable and what it looks like. Uh, but the best information I have says that the projected demand uh, functionality will be coming into IRP soon. So that's good news for all you MRP folks who are wondering, what am I going to do with all my projections? We're going to get you taken care of. There's WO scan and JO scan again, right? Now, that's the synchronized data collection like we talked about, right? So uh, I, I put the word synchronized up there because it, it works in real time, so to speak, but it's it's working through a database and, a, and an import, um, you know, which which is pretty standard for the industry. But typically, we've got folks out there um, issuing parts to a specific job step, tracking how much time it took to complete that step, um, you know, completing items to inventory, and then using a dashboard for reporting or visibility and control, uh, just just to have better understanding of their uh, their manufacturing situation. And you got the Scanco Manufacturing 100, which is replacing those software sets. It's already completely replaced JO Scan. And when work order die, when work order is goes into sunset, it will completely replace WO Scan. But Manufacturing 100 is the real-time data collection, right? No more, no more database imports, no more working with SQL and all that stuff. This is a direct import, read and write through the barcode tables that are embedded inside of Sage. Right. So um, same transactions being used out there with the materials, labors and completions. Uh, but we have status. We can update the status of all the work ticket steps and our dashboard has been updated. Uh, so, you know, you, you get the same controls and the same ability to do your data collection, no matter what software set you move into. Uh, again, you hear me say this all the time, but it's so important. Work with your Sage reseller and work with us. Um, you know, they're going to have information and insights that, that are going to be valuable to you. You know, you don't want to get to an end of a project and realize that we miss something minute that changes the trajectory and the direction of our job. You're not supposed to know all that stuff. There's no, and if you do, great, hats off to you. Um, but, you know, you, you've got a reseller channel and you've got us for a reason. We're here to help. So um, let us do that. A couple more enhancements to talk about. Uh, the work order efficiencies, right? So we'll, we'll talk about the primary ones here and, and talk a little bit about what the plan is. So the make to order is the work ticket creation from the sales order, you know, module, sales order screen. Uh, some of you call it screens, some of you call it modules, but making a work ticket from the uh, screen. You can do that automatically. It can be prompted manually. Um, that That's all, you know, depending on how you want to roll it out. That 
is what lives in PM plus. We'll talk about that in a second. The other efficiencies that are currently not available in PM plus or for production management. So if you're using these with work order, you know, it's, it's a conversation that we need to have outside processing, scheduling, and the auto generate uh, of purchase orders. Now, some of the auto generation of purchase orders have been built into production management, but you need to go through exactly what you're using today to make sure it's going to replace or you understand what you need to do in the future uh, to get the same functionality, right? So outside processing, scheduling, and the auto generation, you need to have a conversation with your reseller or us over here at Scanco if you're using those about what your future looks like. Make to order is going to be all right because down below you're going to see PM plus. So production management plus. Just like the work order efficiencies, this is going to be our platform to enhance production management to help. Well, we don't have to fill the gaps because we already filled them once before. We're just going to fill them again. We just need to update those, you know, those fillings and, and to make sure they're working with the latest and greatest uh, Sage technology. So PM plus is, is just like your make to order. You're creating work tickets from the sales order module. A, a couple enhancements that we really enjoy that we want to just throw out there so you know we're there is we can match the work order type with the sales order type or sales order status. So an estimate is going to be a quote, um, so on and so forth. And then uh, it'll match up as it changes too automatically, which is great as long as that setting is um, put in there. Any of your auto release functions are all going to be supported. So PM plus is not going to change the way you have to worry about production management operating. It's just going to enhance it. It's going to give you uh, that, that work ticket generation from the sales order screen um, plus some additional, some additional benefits. So what's next? We talked a lot about all the different Sage modules, all the different Sage manufacturing enhancements. We looked at the timeline of, of where they were and where they are now. You fall somewhere in that mix. So the, the best thing you can do is work with your, either if you have a consultant uh, or if you have a, a, a Sage reseller uh, that, that you work with uh, for, for support services or reach out to Scanco. The next step is a conversation. Right. Uh, and, and that conversation will lead to, you know, us discovering, you know, what your real need, what the true pain is and, and where we might be able to really help. Because at the end of the day, we want to make Sage better. Uh, you're already using it. You're already customers. We want to enhance the experience. So I hope today uh, served to clear up some of the water enough for you to take that first step enough for you to feel confident enough to make the call. Because remember, you don't have to know all this. You don't have to remember all this. I hope this helped, but use the team that Sage provides to you uh, to, to help determine um, what the next best step is going to be. So um, I do appreciate everybody's time. Like I said, uh, we, we should be able to get uh, this presentation done within a half hour, and I think I did. I, I know no matter what your experience level out there is, um, you took something away from this, whether you know now that work order is going to be end of life, or really the big thing, what work order efficiencies are, are even available. A lot of you might not even know those enhancements like in outside processing are actually enhancements. You might just think they're just a normal part of SAGE, right? So you really gotta have that conversation. Don't wait uh, to be forced into a decision because then, then, you know, time is of the essence, then there's a risk of missing something or overlooking something or rushing through something. And, and that's just going to cause problems down the road. So take it slow, work with your reseller, work with Sage, work with Scanco to identify the right manufacturing module for you, and then the right enhancements to make sure that it's going to solve your needs today and in the future. And if you have any other needs as far as uh, sage or manufacturing or distribution, uh, they can be addressed at that time and can be worked out uh, by your reseller or, or us. Again, my name is Philip Hall. You have my contact information here. I'm with Scanco Software. Uh, we look forward to seeing everybody at Summit in June out there in Dallas. Remember, come say hi. Check out our booth. We'll be a sponsor there. We want to hear from you. Uh, if you have feedback on this, presentation, please send it to me. If you have questions, send them to me. Uh, send them to your reseller. They all come to me anyway, so we'll be working together.
but I hope to hear from you. I hope to see you. I hope to be talking manufacturing with you here soon. And I hope this presentation helped, even if it's just a bit. Have a great day.